The term ag-gag refers to laws that target whistleblowers of animal abuse within the farming industry. The laws aim to prevent undercover filming or photography of farm activity with the intent to do harm to the business. I think that's something that we should talk about. So good to be seen and it's even better to see you. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. This one, of course, brought to you once again by my Petmosphere app, an app that aims to become the only one that you will ever need for anything pet related. So if you're a pet owner like myself, go ahead and download it for free on Android as well as iOS and slide into my DMs once you've done so, so I can shout you out on my social media. So level with me, did you know what ag-gag legislation was all about? If you didn't, that's the topic of discussion today because it is something that is taking place all around the world. At least people are trying to uh, put it and make it into a law, amend the law to uh, sort of muzzle down activists that are uh, by their own token, uh, putting uh, a face, putting uh, the names of companies out there that invest in animal cruelty uh, with the intent of shunning them, with the intent of shutting them up and uh, protecting their businesses at the expense of misery. So in layman's terms, ag -AG legislation is basically something that uh, states or even some countries entirely uh, try to implement so that these activists who obviously have their uh, the best interests of animals at heart uh, cannot affect their profits uh, by, by photographing, or exploiting everything that happens behind closed doors. Now, there's a very important question that I would very much like for you to answer for yourself. And that question is, if companies and businesses are running smooth operations behind closed doors, and by smooth, I mean, obviously, no murder, exploitation, suffering, or torturing of any kind. If these four things are taking place behind closed doors, then why? Why are, say, are they so adamant and protecting their profits by being scared of what actually happens inside their slaughterhouses, what actually gets recorded and placed in public eyes. If you literally have nothing to hide, then why are you so skeptical for people to go in and take a tour, take a couple of pictures, take a couple of videos and post them onto the internet for everybody to see? That is because they are fully aware that activists like these ladies and myself have the best interest of the animal at heart and will stop at absolutely nothing to make sure that their well-being is at the forefront of their life. And you and I both know that can't happen behind slaughterhouse walls. Companies around the world are well aware of the power of social media and they know that if their operations get infiltrated to the point where they go viral on the internet, people are eventually going to grow a conscience much like you and I have done in the past. As a result, they have no choice but to play the card of the ag, -AG legislation in an attempt to silence all those activists that know that infiltrating these slaughterhouses, infiltrating these operations will yield positive results for the vegan community. Now, I wanna read a quick excerpt from an ASPCA.com approved article which reads, Ag-gag laws currently exist in seven states, penalizing whistleblowers who investigate the day-to-day -day activities of industrial farms, including the recording, possession, and distribution of photos, video, and or audio at a farm. To date, four additional ag-gag laws have been struck down by the courts as unconstitutional. Why? Because they have come to the conclusion that is infringing on the First Amendment, free speech. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because I want you to be aware of how important vegan activism is. If we don't take action as humans on behalf of these voiceless individuals, they will never change the law. Now, having said that, proof that the law is currently being amended to protect those of which we are trying to expose, that speaks volumes. That tells me that we are doing the right thing and we are doing things right. When companies and private entities join forces with local governments, whether they are 
here in the United States or abroad, regardless of the country, you know for a fact that we are being seen, we are being heard, and most importantly, our activism is being felt. Whenever I see ag -Ag legislation being shut down, I know for a fact that we are winning the battle. Uh, perhaps the war is still not won, but the battles are slowly and surely being won every single step of the way. And so it's a huge win for us. It's a huge win for the environment. And most importantly, it's a huge win for these individuals that we've come to know as cows, chicken, pigs, turkeys, fish. Uh, they are individuals. They are not things. They're not here for us. They're here with us. And so these are the things that fuel the fire. These are the indicators that let us know that we are on the right path. If this is the first time you're hearing about ag-gag legislation, let me know in the comments below. And while I have your attention, I do appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for being here. If you got something out of this video, I would very much like for you to leave a like and a subscribe on the way out because I definitely want to bring more content that brings more value to you. So I will see you in the next video.